Hi, everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create object for a class. How to create object for class in Java. See why we are creating object, right? And what is the purpose of object creation? For example, if there is a class, the class I'm taking account or suppose I'm taking one class is an employee class. Employee, it contains different types of variables like details. Static means storing the common information. Already we have discussed in the last session. For example, what is the company name? What is the company name? Suppose this employee is belongs to ICICI Bank. But instance variables, what is that employee ID? So what is that employee name? And what is employee salary? these variables are called instance variables instance see in java in java static variable values you can assign directly because static variable data is common for everyone right here it is number of employees are present number of employees are present for all employees for all employees Right here, it is the same details, the same company name, the same company name will be present. So this variable, this variable is called, this variable is called static variable. We can give the value directly so that everyone will share. Everyone will share the value. That is. But here it is instance variables. Instance variables to store different types of data. But see, for different employees, right? Different times you have to allocate memory. Suppose three employees are there. Three times you should allocate the memory for ID, for name and salary. And salary. Three times you have to allocate the memory. So when it is possible means what? By creating the object. The point is instance variables, instance variables get memory, get memory inside the object. Memory inside the object. How can we create the object? That is the concept. See the simple thing. There is a syntax. There is a syntax. So what is that syntax? Is a class name, class name and the object name object address like reference variable name we can call it as equal to equal to new equal to new class name that is equal to new class name class name reference variable equal to new class name this is the way we are creating the object see what happens exactly when you create the object let me explain the point clearly so whenever Whenever you are writing new, new keyword allocates the memory. It will allocate the memory at some location. This is what address. This is what address. This is object. Memory will be allocated. And inside all instance variables get memory ID. Next one name. Next one is a salary, like memory will be allocated. After object creation, nothing but after new keyword, we have to invoke the constructor of the class. Constructor name and class name both are same. Already we have discussed. How can you define the constructor with the same name of class? The class name is employee. Class name is employee class. Sir, here it is a why you are creating the why, why you are calling the constructor means to pass values to this object. How can you pass values to this object in object creation process? I'll explain clearly. So once you create the object, that address you should collect into employee type variable. Like you can take any variable name. Suppose I'm taking OBJ. OBJ. See the few points you need to understand. First of all, new keyword execute, new. 
so what it will do just allocate memory allocate memory to all instance variables that is what object creation exactly next you have to invoke the constructor sir why we need to invoke the constructor this i will discuss briefly in the next video but here it is you can answer in an interview why you are calling means what just to just to provide values provide values to instance variables values to instance variables that i'll explain briefly and once object is ready that address you have to collect into this variable obj that address you have to collect this object this object obj it's a variable variable holds address what is that address 2046 2046 just generally i have given the name 2046 you can take any name i mean any any value randomly the memory will be allocated at some location that location address it is so what type of variable this is employee type variable class type easily to identify right if you are creating object for employee class then variable is a employee variable if you are creating object for student class is a student object if you are creating object for exception class exception object if you are creating object for thread class thread class if you are creating object for collection class collection right to which class you are creating object right the same type you have to specify so that we can identify easily which class object you are creating so what is the purpose of object creation in java just to allocate memory to instance variables just to allocate the memory okay how to initialize using constructor that i'll explain in the next video hope you understood thank you